God bless you all. I know God is going to speak to each and one of you. Let the animation begin. Good morning. Good morning. So, there's been news about a lot of Christians preaching about God. Yeah. Why would they believe in such a thing? I mean, like they've been saying this, Jesus is coming back to pick up his people. Like what? I don't know man. They said something from the Bible, that it says no one's the day nor hour, but only the Father, and then they said, to be prepared and ready and watchful. What? For real? I don't believe in that lie. I hope the cops start banning Christians to preach here in this neighborhood. This place used to be full of peace until these people came. Well they say there, Jesus, is the Prince of Peace. They also say that he loves us, and that he is the light of the world, that he is the only way into heaven. Don't believe in it bro. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is near. Brothers. And sisters. Christ is coming back. And we must be ready and prepared. It says in 1 Thessalonians 4 16-17. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are all sinners, we deserve death, you see for the wages of sin is death, but God sent his only and beloved son died for us. From his sacrifice, we can ask God for forgiveness, if we come humbly to him, but Jesus resurrected three days later. Now he is preparing a place for all of us. We can be saved by what Jesus did if we repent, believe in what he did, and have faith and obey the Lord. Tell me when is your Jesus going to come? No one knows the day nor hour, but there is going to be a day Jesus is going to pick up his people, the people that asked for forgiveness and changed their life and gave it to God. Believe in what in Jesus did for me and you you will be saved. You don't even know, you put your faith in false hope. We must be prepared for that day. Be watchful and ready for that day. Stop spreading false things. There is no such thing as God or Jesus. Tell me how do you overcome temptations? How do I cope with temptation you ask? Instead of choosing to sin, resolve to implement the following strategies to overcome temptation in your life. Be reconciled to God. Meditate on God's word. Deny ungodliness and cultivate godliness. Avoid tempting situations. Be transparent to God and others. I still don't believe, this is false, save yourself from fights and just do something with your life. Jesus is my life, he told me to go and spread my word. Remember Jesus loves you, remember Christ is coming soon. Stop spreading this false news. Please have mercy on that man Lord. God bless you sir. Christ is coming soon. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Get out of my property, I will call the cops. Please listen, Jesus is coming, repent and turn to him, he will give you peace, for he is the prince of peace. Now, get out of here, I will call the cops. If you were to die tonight, know where you are going. Christ is the only way, remember Jesus loves you. Go. Now, well man, what a day. God isn't even real. Lord, Lord, the man, whom you warned, did not listen, I have failed you. Please have mercy on him, you are coming soon. Son, truly I tell you that man will die tonight. My father warned him many times, but he did not listen, I told I love him and I am with him, and he rejected me, tonight will be his last night. Someone, help, Lord please help me, someone help me. No, no, please someone help me, I believe in you God, please help me. My dear children, listen to my warning, I'm coming soon, repent and obey the words of my father, God will see your heart, I died on the cross for you all, so you can ask for forgiveness, but you must do your part and surrender to the heavenly father, before it's too late, I love you all and remember I am with you all. God bless each and one of you, and remember Jesus loves you.